I have people come up to me all the time that are acting like they want to start a business, that are saying the things they like to go out on their own, but the actions don't totally match. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what is it that actually separates a wantrepreneur from an entrepreneur. And there are just a few main pieces that we're going to dive into. So the first one is excuses. So the excuses of an entrepreneur tend to be things like, I don't have the money to start my own business. Um, and this is oftentimes because the business they want to start requires millions of dollars to start up. Well, that is an unfeasible business for you if you don't have access to that kind of capital. Therefore, you're basically setting an intentional dream that is too far out of reach. So you should scale that back and say, well, what could I start with the resources I have? Start there, use that to earn you more money, and you can then fund your dream idea later. So the lack of funds isn't really an excuse. It just means that what you're dreaming of is not a match for your current reality. The second one is, is that they lack some sort of insider information on what to actually do. Um, this information isn't super hard to find. You can hire it out from someone like me to set up an LLC, a tax ID number, operating agreement, bank accounts, basic business accounting. That stuff is a, an obstacle, but it should be a very minor road bump if you've actually made the determination to get started. So the biggest thing that I actually see is a lack of true motivation. Um, a entrepreneur has the desire to be viewed as an entrepreneur, to have that identity and have the benefits as far as putting that on their tags on social media, the idea of riches, of passive income. They have those uh, ideals as a desire, but they're not truly deeply motivated to move forward. What I see is the big difference is an entrepreneur has extreme pain which makes it they have no choice but to move forward. It's not a decision that they're making and thinking like, oh, I guess I want to do this. It's if I keep on my current trajectory, I am destined to a life of unfulfilled happiness and regrets. Therefore, I have no choice but to take action right now. And this uh, pain is a wonderful motivator. I see it over and over again. Uh, entrepreneurs make that jump because of the pain of not making that jump is too severe. And then they're on the path of being an entrepreneur, trying to make a business work, it's not really going. The pain of if I don't make my next sale in the next few days, I don't pay rent, motivates enormous success. So that pain is really, really key. And what the entrepreneur misses is that they are keeping themselves too sheltered and safe, and they want to have too big of a safety net before making that leap. Now, I'm all for not taking risks that don't pay off, but you have to recognize when you're willing to bet on yourself and willing when you're not willing to do that. Um, doing some of the basic business math can help. Um, having a good idea about what you're trying to do can help. Having a, a certain amount of safety net can help. But there's no risk-free way to go from working for someone else to having your own business. Um, and that's the biggest thing I see separating a entrepreneur from an entrepreneur is the level of pain, the level of motivation and dedication. What people talk about is if you're an entrepreneur, you're going to make more money, have more freedom. Those are all basically lies. If you're an entrepreneur, you're going to work more hours for less money, period, the end. If you're working at a business, every, every hour you work, you're paid for. As an entrepreneur, you have unbillable hours. You have the hours you're doing where you're actually doing the work for a customer and getting paid, and then all the other hours it takes to run a business, to get it going, to do marketing, to even acquire that customer. So it's way more hours for way less pay every single time. And if you don't have a deep drive and motivation to make that work, then you're not going to last. The good news is if you can make that work, keep building something, you can build a machine to where that reduces. And you do have freedom of hours. You can choose to work at midnight as opposed to 8 a.m. if you're not a morning person. But it's not an easy path. And so if you don't have a deep driven motivation, it's really hard to get there. And in my experience, pain is one of the greatest motivators. The pain of discomfort in your current position where you're getting burnt out, the pain of, if I didn't try this in my life, I would feel like I didn't hit my potential, um, those types of pains. The desire for, I wish I was wealthy and had a yacht, that usually isn't enough to actually drive someone to take those chances to become an entrepreneur. Unless it's tied in with the pain of not doing that means that I'm a failure and didn't hit my true potential, then sometimes that, that money or the desire can be a motivator. So anyways, if you're in this entrepreneur phase, I just want to say that Maybe you need to experience some more pain to stress test, be able to toughen up your resolve. Maybe you need to take a hard look at how unhappy you actually are and what the alternative could be if you were to drive forward and do it. Um, hope this helps get some people off of that middle of the fence. 
uh, pulls the tug of war a bit more towards one side or the other. If you're not feeling that pain and motivation, it can be fun to dream and just think about stuff too. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Make your dreams become a reality. Thank mm-hmm. you.